Okay, final victim this morning, uh, trainer of Big Orange, Michael Bell. Um, Michael, first up, um, ended up from finishing fifth in the Melbourne Cup. Um, talk us through the experience of that because that was a, you know, men all won it, but it was still a terrific effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a fant it is a, a fantastic race to be involved in, the way they look after you there in Melbourne and the, the pre-race build-up. Um, and, you know, it's probably not called the race that stops the nation for nothing. It, no, it's a, it was a great experience and we're thrilled with the way he ran. And after that, how's the winter been for, for Big Orange? He came back with a little issue on the, on the plane, a travel sickness issue, but that was dealt with, you know, um, by the vets in Newmarket and he was within 10 days, that wasn't a, any issue at all. He then had a holiday at the stud back at Stetchworth for a month turned out enjoying himself and came back to us on January the 1st with a view of being ready to run here and everything's gone very smoothly. And um, what about the travel? No, no, no issues? No, no he's, he's in great form. Jamie's just ridden in this morning. Jamie Spencer is going to ride him on Saturday night and he is delighted with him. And um, I know he thinks the world of this horse. I mean it's going to be presumably the aim eventually to get back to Australia is that what do you need a holiday in the end of the year well I think the, the plan is to go to Australia and we'd love to go back and uh, but obviously a lot depends whether he goes there what he achieves in the interim and the Melbourne Cup's a handicap so he wouldn't want to be handy handicapping himself out of it but it would be lovely to go back there and how do you assess Saturday night's chances you look to have yeah, he's Some in. I, I, yeah, I think he's he's. I, I think he's in. He's in really good nick. I don't know what the vibes are about the two French horses who are shorter than in the betting, but our horse's well-being is, I don't think, in doubt. Uh, the weight for age thing, the six pounds he's got to give to Vaziri Bad, isn't ideal. But I'm hoping that Mr. Sumion had a, a very big breakfast with the stars if he was there, because I think eight eight might just stretch his. Um, uh, might stretch him safe, you know, but I think Vaziribad obviously is a very good horse, um, is on a roll, but, you know, Big Orange is in good order. And what would it mean to you? You've obviously, you've had big winners, but this would be... This would be, yeah, it'd be great. I mean, the, the race is worth a lot of money first, you know, so from a purely business point of view, it would be good. And from a personal satisfaction point of view, it would be right up there. What is it about this horse that you like so much? I think his character, he's got enormous big lop ears, he's got ears like a donkey, uh, he's got a neck like a turtle, Jamie says, that sticks out. No, he's just a great, he's a character. Um, had he been sold as a yearling, he probably would have made next to nothing, because he's he has been known to walk his box, so he'd been announced as a box walk, he's a big ugly yoke really, but he's a very talented horse, and it's nice when, you know, some geese turn into swans, and he's he's the classic example. And how much of all the horses, you know, where does he rate the sort of uh, in your? Well, I think affection? yeah, I think Goodwood Cup Day was a fantastic day. That was a um, lovely to win a really big race at a big meeting. Um, so I mean, he's a, no, he's a, a, a horse, that, and also the longer they stay around, the more you get a uh, more affection you get for them. So yeah, I mean, he's a. Uh, you know, and he's born and bred in Newmarket, owned by a really good sportsman. Um, no, he's he's a, and he's taken us to Melbourne and now to Dubai. So those horses are, you know, you get to love. And on the international stage, I mean, it would be a huge, a huge moment for you. As yeah, well. it, what they say it would be. Um, I think the quote is a timely boost. <laughs> <laughs> Graham, <you> got that. <laughs> on that note, a timely boost. <laughs> we all like a timely boost. Yeah, anyway, exactly. so. Yeah. Any yeah, questions? Any questions? Do you want to know what horses he's got for the year, Graham? Single out any? Are you excited about else? Um, yeah, I think we've got some. Uh, yeah, I am a, by nature an optimist. We got some. I breathed some two-year-olds on Tuesday morning, and um, I think we'll have a good year this year. We've got some nice handicappers. No classic <laughs> entries, but I think the, the string has got a good balance to it, and um, you know. My cup is sometimes rather full, and um, I think the two-year-olds are okay, so I think we're in good shape.